With the development of generalized AI, what's the meaning of a person? The TechCrunch Book Club reads Ted Jiang's life cycle of software objects. For the next installment of the informal TechCrunch Book Club, we are reading the fourth story in Ted Jiang's exhalation. The goal of this book club is to expand our minds to new worlds, ideas, and vistas, and the life cycle of software objects doesn't disappoint. Centered in a future world where virtual worlds and generalized AI have become commonplace, it's a fantastic example of speculative fiction that forces us to confront all kinds of fundamental questions. If you've missed the earlier parts in this book club series, be sure to check out. Can we debate free will versus destiny in four pages? What is our meaning in life in a world of technology? Can a time machine offer us the meaning of life? Some questions for the fifth story in the collection. Daisy's Patent Automatic Nanny, are included below. And as always, some more notes. Want to join the conversation? Feel free to email me your thoughts at dannyplusbookclub at techcrunch.com or join some of the discussions on Reddit or Twitter. Follow these informal book club articles here, https colon slash slash techcrunch.com slash book review slash. That page also has a built-in RSS feed for posts exclusively in the book review category which is very low volume. Feel free to add your comments in our TechCrunch comments section below this post. Thinking about the life cycle of software objects. This is a much more sprawling story than the earlier short stories in Exhalation, with much more of a linear plot than the fractal koans we experienced before. That wider canvas offers us an enormous buffet of topics to discuss, from empathy, the meaning of humanity, and the values we vouch for to artificial entities, the economics of the digital future, and onwards to the futures of romance, sex, children, and death. I have pages of notes from this story, but we can't cover it all, so I want to zoom in on just two threads that I found particularly deep and rewarding. One core objective of this story is to really interrogate the meaning of a person. Chiang sets up our main character Anna as a mother of a digital entity, a digiant, who was a zookeeper in a past life. That career history gives us a nice framing, it allows us via Anna to compare humans to animals, and therefore to contextualize the personhood debate around the digiants throughout the story. On one hand, humans uniquely value themselves as a species, and even the most dedicated digiant owner eventually moves on. As one particularly illuminating passage discusses when a digiant's owner announces that his wife is pregnant. Obviously you're going to have your hands full, says Anna. But what do you think about adopting Lolly? It would be fascinating to see Lolly's reaction to a pregnancy. No, so for more on this story, visit the news article link.